If one of your goals this year is to put on more muscle, then you want to make sure you're including this very, very important part of your training aspect that most guys skip over. Hi, I'm Ryan Masters of Spartan Doctor, certified strength and conditioning specialist here to help you build a ripped masculine physique. Welcome to my channel, Sparta Strength. If you haven't already, subscribe to this video. That way they'll come right to you when new ones are released. So, like a lot of people this year, you're probably setting goals and thinking about, okay, it's time to change my body or improve my body and I want to build, you know, add on more muscle. And so, like most guys, we already know what, okay, go to the gym and exercise and train, and that's a big catalyst for it. We also know, okay, eat right, or you gotta change you know, your food intake so that your body is able to use materials to build muscle. But what a lot of guys skip over is the third component of the Spartan Triad, which is, which is recovery. And rest is so important because that's when your body is actually building muscle. And I'm not even talking about just sleeping although that's a critical part too, but just rest means time off from the weights, not only physically, but also mentally, and having the strength to know that you need to take that rest, even though sometimes your body may feel fine. You, you may not feel sore, and you think you need to go to the gym because of that, but oftentimes that's not the case. But sleeping, getting sleep is one of the most important parts that a lot of guys, you know, we just, we kind of overlook it because we think um, it may not have a big impact, but it really does, because when you're sleeping, that's when your body releases the hormones that help build muscle, particularly growth hormone and testosterone, and it's, those are released kind of later in the sleep cycle. So if you're only getting like five hours or six hours of sleep, there's a very good chance you're missing out on a lot of those gains that come to the at the end of if you're getting good, you know, eight, seven to nine hours of sleep. So that's something to think about and, and really focus on this year is getting the, the right amount of sleep for you so that your muscles that you're tearing down and building and want to grow have time to grow. You know, I was reading an article a while back in, in um, one of the fitness magazines and it was talking about the guy who trained Henry Cavill, the man who played Superman and Man of Steel. And when he was training him at the beginning, he said, look, I have like one rule that you absolutely have to follow and that was you have to get nine hours of sleep every night. Like no questions, no excuses. And that's because it was so important and he knows it's so important to help building muscle. Now, the way to get, you know, there's, there's a way, you know, just saying, oh, I need to get more sleep and then putting it on to-do list is not a way to change your change yourself. What you want to do is get some type of measurement and see, okay, how much am I actually sleeping? And so what I use is, this is called the activity tracker from Vita Goods. And you have other ones like these, you know, Fitbit and all that kind of stuff is all the craze right now. But this one, um, you can obviously get 70, I work with them, you can get 70% off because they sponsor this channel. So, but the, the nice thing is you put this on when you go to sleep, you put it in sleep mode and it will track you know, how much sleep you're getting, whether you're in deep cycles and letting you know if you're getting really good you know, seven to eight hours of sleep. Because a lot of guys think, okay, I go to bed at 12 and I wake up at seven or I wake up at eight so I'm getting eight hours of sleep. And that may not necessarily be the case. You know, if you're going to bed and not going to sleep right away because you're, you're reading you know, something electronic or watching TV or whatnot, that doesn't count as sleep. So using something like an activity tracker will really give you measurement to, okay, this is how much sleep I'm getting each week. And you can go back and, and say, okay, well, how can I improve this? Or, you know what, I'm doing good. I'm getting plenty of sleep here. And it just brings you a whole new sense of awareness about your body and how sleep affects you. That's the best, best way to do it is to create your own lab so that you're able to see, okay, when I get six hours of sleep, you know, this is how I feel. When I get eight hours of sleep per week, this is how I feel. Because you're gonna find articles all over the internet that say, oh, you can get away with five. And a lot of the bodybuilding fitness ones say you need, you know, seven to nine. And, and while those are true in the broad sense, it's very, everything's very individualized for specific, you know, for, for each of us. You know, we all have our own, our bodies kind of respond and adapt differently. So using something like an activity tracker to help you measure and see how sleep affects you is going to give you a greater sense of knowing, okay, this is how I can build more muscle by getting the right sleep. All right, so you hope you found that helpful. If you did, click the like button down below and make sure if you want the activity tracker, again, you can get this 70% off. There's a link down there, use the coupon code SPARTAN and they will ship that right out to you. Remember, never retreat, never surrender, and keep moving forward.